Good morning, everyone. It is Gail, and it's Saturday morning, the 14th of September. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about something that I think is absolutely critical to your success, and that is being able to answer this question. What kind of trader are you? It's a simple question. It's a straightforward question. And it's a question that you should be able to answer. If someone asks me what kind of trader I am, I always tell them I'm a trend trader and I specialize in momentum. I'll also mention what I believe is one of the most um, critical things I've learned from Calvin Thornley, and that is that I am a risk manager first and a trader second. But I am a trend trader. I specialize in momentum. What kind of trader are you? Do you have a clear and concise answer? And more important to that, does your trade does your trade plan reflect that? There are many, many ways to take pips out of the market. I have done that. I have done lots of different types of uh, strategies. I've taken pips many, many different ways. But for the last three years, I have dedicated myself to becoming as proficient as I can trading the trend and trading momentum as a risk manager. I will not let myself be seduced by seeing charts in a way other than that which supports what kind of trader I am and what my trade plan allows me to do. And that is trade momentum into trend. What I believe is that if you see many different ways to trade, that you will find many different ways to fail. Focus is critical to success. What kind of trader are you? Let me give you an example using the pound dollar. You can see that we have been in a long term uptrend since July. And yet, there would be many traders who will say, oh, look at this. We've got a great level coming up. Look what price did here. Look how it bounced around here before. Oh, my gosh, what was that? A huge fall. And then it rallied up again, and what happened? Hit this level, and a nice retrace happened before we went back into trend. A few days ago, we approached this level again. Here is another one of these levels that I know that there was a lot of retail carnage. And there would be some traders who are able to trade this, this level and take a little bit out of it. You can see that it, it peaked out around 157.30 before we had this drop down to uh, 157. All of 30 pips. I mean, really. <laughs> Come on. You know, there are ways to scalp and to trend. So why scalp and the counter trend? Price blew through this level, continued the trend. And when I came into the trading session yesterday, Friday, um, I came in late a little bit before um, the New York session opened. Uh, I just traded a few charts. One of the things that I have um, become more focused on uh, under the direction of Calvin is really just focusing on a few core pair. And I find that the more proficient I get into trading momentum, the easier it is for me to just focus on a few charts and make my goals. So when I came in, we had um, had seen price rally um, through the, the London uh, session and was trading in a fairly tight level. Um, my bias was to the long. I'm a trend trader. I had a very strong trend here. Uh, the day's activity had been too long. So I was looking for a possible entry long into the pound dollar ahead of data. Um, I was able to use the hourly, the 15 minute, <clears throat> and the very small time frames one, two, three, five minute charts to find a momentum entry into this pair, and I entered at 158.09 with an 8-pip stop. I had an area at uh, around 158.60 identified 
has a level that I thought um, price would pause. Um, and if it blew through, I would, of course, continue to hang on and go for that ride. But when price started moving, it came up to 158.60. Price did start to pause. It did show evidence of some um, hesitation. And that was what I needed. Um, I, I had my 50 pips on that trade, which was what uh, I had set as a goal for that trade. And with the hesitation, I went ahead and closed. And that was it for my day. Um, as is usually the case, it turned out that, that uh, Calvin had traded the same pair, pound long. He had gotten it earlier than me. Um, most of my trades uh, are not 50 pips. Most of my trades are less than that. Um, I trade later hours now. I don't get up for the London Open, so um, I don't get to benefit from a lot of the breakout trades that are there. I come in ahead of New York. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for 20 to 30 pip trades. Sometimes I get surprised when they go further. I have to tell you, it's a little disconcerting. Um, sometimes like my trading partner, uh, Darren, will have closed a 1 to 12 trade by the time I'm there. But I understand uh, my environment, and you should understand yours. Um, so don't be seduced. What kind of trader are you? Focus is the key to success in this business and in almost anything that one does in life. Wishing you all the best in your trading.